in mask, we are gonna be in the kitchen. We are actually going to measure things with different measuring tools we use in the kitchen and make something. So today I'm gonna make um, no-bake oatmeal um, chocolate peanut butter cookies. Um, it is a no-bake recipe, so you could do it at home with mom and dad. Um, it does take a little bit of cooking though, so you will need their help. So first, I'm gonna go over the ingredients with you and the things we're gonna need. Like I'm gonna use a pan. We have sugar, which I keep in a little canister or a big canister really. We have some peanut butter. We have some cocoa, which is chocolate. Um, it calls for a half a cup of butter, which a whole stick of butter is a half a cup of butter. Then it calls for oatmeal. And it also calls for milk, but I'm gonna use almond milk because that's what my family drinks and that's what we have at home. And vanilla. So, I have to turn on the stove, move the camera back a little bit. And it says on the recipe to add butter, sugar, cocoa powder, and milk to a saucepan over medium heat. So medium heat, I'm gonna put it right in the middle and I'm turning on this French burner. I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter first. Remember, it's a half a cup of butter, so it's a whole stick of butter. And sugar, we need two cups of sugar. So, I have two different one cup measuring cups. I have this one, it's a whole cup, and then I have this one. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for like my sugar and my powdery kind of stuff. So kind of level it off at the top there. That's one cup of sugar. Sorry, getting the butter to melt a little bit here. And then I need one fourth cup, which you'll see one fourth cup is a smaller cup. Let me see. See right there, it says one fourth cup in the inside. Pop it out. Level it off at the top, pour it in there. And also milk. Milk is one half cup. So I'm gonna fill the cup half to the halfway point and pour in the milk. And then it says you're gonna gently stir the ingredients together. So that's what I was kind of trying to do. Move the butter around so as it melts, you're kind of stirring everything together. And I just have a little spatula here that I'm using. One quick note to make sure is, I didn't tell you at the beginning, make sure you wash your hands really good before you start baking and using your hands with this stuff. I washed my hands before the video since I have to do it on camera and it's on my computer. I don't, I can't really move around too much. So, okay, melting that. I'm gonna turn mine up just for video purposes, but we are, Mixing that. 
Okay, and as I mix that and gently stir the ingredients together, it says once the butter has melted, which we're almost there, bring the mixture to a boil. So you're gonna wanna turn it up. And it does say you want to whisk it, so you're going to need a whisk. This is a whisk, and I'm going to start whisking it together. peanut butter, which the peanut butter, it says we need a three-fourths cup, which is almost the whole cup. It's like right underneath. The three-fourths line is like right here. So I'm going to almost fill up that whole cup. So I have a big spoon. So that comes out to about three big spoonfuls. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in there because my, I don't know if you can see it, but it's bubbling. So putting the peanut butter in there, start mixing it and stirring it. Woo! Definitely bubbling now. It's hot. Be very careful when you're working with hot stuff, guys. This is why I said you're going to need mom and dad's help. And then you need two, it says two teaspoons, but also a tablespoon is fine, of vanilla. This is a tablespoon. And again, fill it up to the top, pour it in there. And then it's, I'm oh, sorry, three cups of oats, which is oatmeal. Again, this is dry, so I'm using the cup. There's, how many is that? One. Two. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, guys. The chocolate and the peanut butter. And three. And then I'm gonna start whisking again. And I did turn down my heat because it has been boiling. And then what's gonna happen with your oats and your peanut butter, as you mix it, it's gonna start soaking in that chocolate and peanut butter into the oatmeal. stove off and I'm gonna go ahead and keep mine in the pan it does say that you put it in a bowl to kind of cool it off I'm just gonna take it off my burner but you can put it in a bowl and mix it together and it's pretty much mixed together now bowl so y'all can see it. And 
There is our cookie mix. Okay, so here's our cookie mix. What I'm gonna do now is I will grab a cookie sheet and I'll um, go ahead and spoon this out onto a cookie sheet. Um, you can use like wax paper or something to put it on. Um, you're just gonna put the spoonfuls, then you can put the cookie sheet in the fridge or you can let it cool at room temperature. It just takes a little longer. Um, in the fridge, it'll probably take like up to an hour where it'll get cold enough and hold together. Um, so your mom and dad will have to help you with the time. And, um, or you can leave it out on the counter, put it on there and let them harden themselves at room temperature, and then you can eat them later. I will go ahead and post a response with what mine look like when they're all done. Um, hope you have a great learning day and have some fun measuring with measuring cups and spoons and making cookies. No bake cookies, guys. Have a great day.